Hello world, this is What's Up 290 and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can pretty easily back up your Steam game library to an external hard drive, to an external hard drive, and this should also back up, the, uh, up your Steam game save data as well. So first things first, you're going to need a um, ex need an external hard drive that is big enough to store the games on your Steam library and their save data obviously and once you've gotten once you've plugged that in what you're gonna want to do is click on like open your steam click on the steam tab up here then click back up and restore games y you can use this to res you can as you can see here it'll just come up with two options one will say backup currently install programs and another will say restore previous backup just click this one. Just click this one, and one, and it should restore the pre. The if you have a previous save backup of your games and save data, it should automatically go and restore that. That you'll get your save data and games back without having to reinstall and play through them again. But it, but to create a backup, what you're going to want to do is click here where it says backup currently installed programs. Click next. It'll give you a list of your currently install current games in your Steam library. And select the ones you want to back up. And what you're going to want to do is once you've selected the ones that you want to back up and back the save data up for, is click next. Then we're going to locate to our... Um, what we're going to do is we're going to click browse and browse to your, go up here, browse to your uh, USB drive. What you're going to want to do is click new folder and then I'm just going to name mine Steam Backup. You can name it whatever you want but that's what I'm naming mine. Click OK. Just click next. Backup destination, once it says that just click next. Just uh, click next here, and it'll say it's backing up. Now, how long it'll take will depend on um, how how long, how big your Steam library is, but this is a pretty good method for if you, for if you don't want to risk losing access to your Steam library without having to re-download and replay through the games again. So that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is What's Up 290, and I'm signing off. Have a nice day, and I'll see you next video.